Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays. The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We're gonna knock out uh, the last greed mode character before the Lost, and that's Blue Baby. And I think that Blue Baby is gonna be disproportionately difficult in greed mode because of the fact that we can't easily replenish red hearts. That all being said, we didn't really uh, uh, run into too tough of a time. Sorry, my cat actually wants in, I think. Yes? No? There's no scratching on the door. That's weird. Uh, well, maybe Blue Baby has uh, a better chance than I'm giving it credit for right now as a result of the fact that you do have the poop which you can put down and, and should put down every single wave. Freaking corn flies! Uh, to give us uh, a chance of getting some extra pennies. Even if we can't kill the poop right away because we're focusing on the actual enemies, which is probably sensible, um, we'll, we'll put the poop down as often as possible. So that we can shoot it later and hopefully get maybe another two or three cents per floor if we get lucky. If we pick up an early petrified poop, that would actually be awesome for us. But, you know, I don't think I'm going to go so far as to, like, um... Oh, it's a red heart. Fantastic. I don't think I'm going to go so far as to, uh... You know, buy out the shop of trinkets in the hopes that we find one. Petrified poop, that is. I think that's probably more likely than not just going to result in us having, like, no money left. Unless we get incredibly lucky. Which is possible. I also really, uh, considering, again, that we have spirit hearts only, I really don't want to, uh, step on the button, but I continue to take damage. Maybe I should step on the button once and, and free ourselves from our own prison here, instead of, uh, just constantly letting the problem grow, but it's, it's hard to make that decision. You know what would be the worst for greed mode? If they put, like, spikes that randomly popped out of the outside, so as you're, like, doing these huge loops to... Avoid these enemies, sometimes you just walked into like a big spike. Um, that, that would be terrible. Don't take my advice on that one, Tyrone, please. So you're forced to stay in the interior and actually dodge instead of just scumming it up a little bit. Ruka, what's up, buddy? Keep, uh, freaking out a little bit. Uh, let's try to buy something from our shop. That is really good. Latch key is like better than an HP upgrade. So, I, kind of, I think I'm going to buy a latch key. It gives us a spirit heart and two keys for 15 cents. Which is, like, exactly the equivalent that you would expect to pay. It's like a, a spirit heart and two keys are five cents each. So, lucky us, I guess. Um, it's also a luck upgrade for the future, which I guess is basically just free. Um, and we got uh, hot bombs out of our item room, which I think is disproportionately good relative to some of the shit that we could get as Blue Baby. Like, I think it's much better than an HP upgrade uh, that is just one spirit heart for us. So, I'm I'm okay with hot bombs. It's a persistent bomb synergy, which is valuable. We won't, it looks like, be able to buy anything else on this floor, but I do think Latch Key's like an okay pickup for us here. It's tough to evaluate. I've actually had a pretty good streak going on Greed Mode. Uh, we haven't lost that much lately. Doing shit on the dailies, but good on greed mode. Uh, what what uh, would I prefer to do? I prefer to do better on the dailies and maybe a little shittier on greed mode, but we do have to knock this stuff off the post-it eventually, right? Uh, hmm. I mean, I don't really want thunder thighs. And I don't really want uh, mom's purse. Oh, we got a pill. That's a bad pill. I don't really want to open the golden chest, so I think we just accept where we're at on this floor and just say, you know what? Life's a bitch sometimes. Come down this way, please. Thank well, close enough. Um, life's a bitch sometimes. This floor has not been incredible for us, but maybe we'll get the opportunity to make something awesome happen. Um, we can't trick the system, I think. Like, we can't just respawn as Dark Judas and be okay. Because that'll count as Dark Judas's post-it note, which doesn't exist, but it definitely will not count as Blue Babies, I believe. So, um, I mean, we could scum it up with the Onk, but I don't even know how that works. I think what might be, like, kind of our end game is either D100 or a lot of, uh, a lot of items from the Chaos pool. Like, once we, once we switch the pools with Chaos, maybe just start picking up amazing offensive items in the item room and the, and the silver room and stuff like that. I don't know, though. I'm, I'm suspicious that this will work out well for us, but hey, we gotta give it a shot. At least we have enough spirit hearts to take a deal with the devil, if there's a good one. And there is a good one. Um, 
We have to take two here, I think, as scary as it is. We'll take Ceremonial Robes, follow that up, uh, as you might expect, with the Death Touch pickup. And uh, it's a nice damage increase for us. Hopefully, maybe we'll get a penny from one of these. Just a little penny? Nope, okay. Let's hope maybe we could buy even Thunder Thighs, man, just for some survivability. But oh, 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 instead. Two spirit hearts for the cost of a bomb. Okay, now we're back in business. Decent damage, uh, and and the same amount of starting HP you have as Blue Baby, so... We'll get marked as well, which a lot of people don't like. I'm kind of of two minds about right now. Matchbook is okay, I think. Um, let's... Step on the button here, and... Marked! Now's your chance to wow me. Many people will probably think that I shouldn't have even taken this item, and those people may indeed be correct. But we're gonna find out one way or the other. Hey, the poop actually worked out for us. Um, one thing I should try to do is probably keep marked as close to us as possible. That way, uh, we can aim it much more quickly. Like, I think one of the things that some people try to do with marked, not that I'm some kind of, like, marked prodigy or anything like that, um, but uh, one of the things that people try to do with marked that I find a little silly is they, they push the crosshair like as far as possible away from them which makes it very very difficult to aim I think instead you've got to kind of you know keep it as close to you as possible that way when you move or when it moves I should say it covers more territory more quickly so uh, just just my two cents on the issue as someone who's used the item you know maybe half a dozen times and is not necessarily uh, aggressively against it okay this is a weird one we should probably shoot the, the fires first, is my guess. By the way, do as I say, not as I do. I will probably fuck up my my MO for using Marked here. If I had to guess, but... Skinny Odd Mushroom, I think, is worth it. PhD is highly debatable, but I think it might be worth a shot. Oh, man, we got Chaos! Let's try to blow this up. That's great. I am gonna try to make Chaos work. But, I'm gonna try to make Chaos work after our deal with the Devil. Because I want the deal with the Devil items, and then we'll we'll flip the script. Because we, like, the, the thing is we want the deal with the Devil because the deal with the Devil items are disproportionately good. Then we want to put those disproportionately good items in the rest of the pool. So, this is sensible, I believe. That's what I was worried about, is enemies kind of popping up from the ground here. Coming from the mud. Good. Good. We'll get our deal with the devil. Because I don't want to deal with the devil that is like, hey, trade three spirit hearts away for one spirit heart, which could easily happen to us. Just keep yourself safe. This isn't our first rodeo against the haunt here. That will kill him for sure. And we'll shoot the poop. One extra penny might come in handy, and it's a Krampus fight. I don't mind this. Lump of coal would be good. Krampus's head would probably be better than what I already have. Yeah, so, we'll, you know, we'll say thank you to the poop. Poop might be worth, like, one extra item cumulatively over the course of the game, but I think Krampus's head is worth it, man. And then we'll go take Chaos. Gave us a penny as well. Much appreciated, I guess. Uh, and we'll head to the next floor. We'll buy the Spirit Heart as well, just to be safe, but, uh, or, yeah, just to protect us, you know, from what we might face on the next floor, but, um, this, this should now become interesting. Some of our item rooms are gonna suffer as a result of this Chaos pickup, but some of them are gonna be much better than we would have originally expected, so. Oh, all in all, I hope that this is a, a win for us. Cube of Meat from our, uh, Silver Room is not that bad. Could be better, but could be a lot worse. We should buy a key, spend a key, get a penny and a key, and then use our key to open the item room where we get uh, scatter bombs. We put bombs in your bombs. The bang, the bang, dicky. Uh, it's it's okay because they're hot bombs. It's like a little better, but figured we might as well use um, Krampus's head as much as possible. Unfortunately, we are gonna have to spend some of our money on this floor on. Uh, on a reroll, because our item room looks kind of shitty. Or not our item room, but our shop, which is, you know, like a glorified item room. Uh, looks kind of shitty right now. 
Basically, there's a speed upgrade. Ooh la la. Doing all right with this. The other thing we could do, I suppose, is just keep our marked uh, crosshair like in the center of the room. And then just dodge in... S oh, that was so dumb. Dodge in such a way as to uh, hit the enemies on either side of it. Which is obviously not going to work on these enemies. So you know what? Forget I even brought it up. Uh, we can afford to reroll a little bit here. Yeah, I, I agree. Self. Ramming speed. I mean, a 3 cent spirit art is pretty good. 5 cent spirit art is not terrible, but it's not what we want. BFF is probably worth it. Uh, Satanic Bible is an interesting one, too, though. I've never seen that trinket either. Hmm, that's tough. Uh, that really is genuinely a little tricky, because... I think Satanic Bible might beat the shit out of Krampus' head as Blue Baby. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, BBF is like the the, the vanity play, and uh, Satanic Bible is obviously the obvious play. And I think the obvious play is exactly what we need to do when we're still getting used to the mode, you know, figuring out our fundamentals and, and stuff like that. So I think we have to take Satanic Bible. And, and now I'm almost a little embarrassed that I was originally flirting with the idea of not doing that. Um, but that's okay. We've, we've learned from our mistake in time. We'll definitely pick it up, and it's going to be great for us, I hope. And this is the end for you. I'm not super excited by what our deal with the devil probably has on offer for us here. Uh, because it's likely, or at least plausible, that it's just an item room item, which is just worth nothing for us. So the actual dingle is actually, like, really tempting to kill first, but... I do think that that the brownie does such a good job of controlling the map that we gotta knock him out before it's too late. It's okay. One is dead. Second one soon to follow. He only charges once! Oh, it's the weird champion version. I was waiting for the fourth time on the charge. We're good. Well, one more enemy. We're good. Uh, deal with the devil just has two black hearts. That honestly might be for the best for us right now. Let's head down to our next floor. Uh, I mean, I don't know how I'm feeling about the run, but it feels okay. It feels like it could definitely be a lot worse. Curse of the Unknown. So we have blue map, which is just garbage. Uh, there can be secret rooms in greed mode, but I don't think it's worth it, man. If we can get a Perthrow rune or something, take it to the next level. Um, this is a great opportunity. Whoa! We got a secret room. <laughs> we don't need blue map. Uh, our secret room just contains a lot of poop, but honestly, that's a pretty good uh, potential blessing for us here. Even if we just get that one penny that's already showed up, that's still pretty okay. We got two cents, three cents, three cents. That's fine. We also got our battery charge, which was really nice. Uh, we should buy a key and go into our shop. Not our shop, our item room. And our item room has dead cats, which gives us like one red heart. Not one red heart, sorry, one spirit heart. Which is just like, in in chaos, we can't take this. Because the odds of us becoming guppy are so low. We can't rely on deals with the devil to kind of thin the herd for us, you know? There's a, there's a fucking uh, enemy over here that also has a... Uh, a blood clot item near it. What is going? It must have a bomb must have blown up the item, and it was like small rock, and then it just gave us this instead. That's wild. Uh, all things considered, I would have preferred small rock, but it's not bad. I really don't think uh, nine lives is suitable for this run. Would have would have loved it on our last run probably, but on this run, it's it's just not what we want. The cost is like. Far too large. Oh, that was just the worst dodging. But for all the hits we've... Oh, my God. For all the hits we've taken, we've generated some HP as well. And we're good. Okay, let's just fight these enemies while we have the strength uh, required to do so. I'm really enjoying this fight right now. Beautiful. <laughs> Again, I don't expect our deal with the devil to be great, but if they can just keep giving us uh, spirit hearts, you know, that's that's pretty solid. Demon hearts, even better. That's not what I meant to do. Alright. 
Taking care of most of the, the detritus here. Monstro 2 uh, proving surprisingly annoying with Marked. Marked proving kind of surprisingly annoying as items go as well. That's what I get for being like, oh, I know better than the people complaining about this item. Pretty close to the finish here. Uh, still got plenty of HP to take one deal with the devil. Man, is each one of those actually costing us one heart now because we're on the womb? If so, we ate shit real hard there. And I'm thinking that this is, uh, this is a possible kind of whiff for us in greed mode. Which is real- Oh my god, stop dodging into the enemy! This would be real disappointing for us if we were just gonna die before even getting to the ultra greed fight, but like I said, our greed- oh, God, our greed track record has actually been pretty good lately, with the exception of what's happening, like, literally right now. And there's oh Lord, so many possible points to look at in this video and be like, this is where it all went wrong. Let's not act like it's already over. Decent dodge. One of them has got to be dead soon. Like, bait him into a little attack. There we go. Oh my god! Stop taking this dumb damage. It's ridiculous. Maybe we should take nine lives now. I actually think we might be at like zero HP. So if we're gonna... We might as well take it now, if we're at zero HP. That way, uh, or if we're at one HP, that way we have one HP but lives associated with it. I think we want the damage upgrade. Don't think we care about uh, Book of Secrets. I think we do want the mark for the extra damage as well. Oh! There's no way for us to get the money to buy Guppy's Paw! I would desire it greatly. Unless, unless there's a second secret room. Blue map. Nope. I, I really don't want to go to the curse room and lose our... Uh, Lose our HP. I think we're going to die nine times against Ultra Greed. But I do think that it's possible that we just die before we get to Ultra Greed. That would be the worst outcome. Because we wouldn't have even had a choice there. I'll take experimental treatment. I don't care. Let's get down and dirty here. That was pretty much entirely not worth it. Again, respawning as Dark Judas, I feel, does nothing for us. Except, if I was not trying to get the post-it, I would do it in a heartbeat, because we would just be in the market to increase our odds of uh, at least beating Ultra Greed. Just to get our donation machine cranked up a little bit. Ooh, okay, we got three bombs for the cost of two bombs. That's okay. Oh, maybe even five bombs, my mistake. Let's fight some enemies here. I'm not feeling super confident, but we have come back from this. We've got three HP. That's something we can build on. Which is a, a very polite way of saying, we're starting from the bottom. <laughs> Having something to build on, it's like, you got the foundation. You know, you don't have a house yet, but you got the foundation, man. That's the start. You gotta start with a foundation, and we've already got that under control. We're not literally dead yet. All we need is a couple of good, uh, couple of good uh, chaos swings for us here. Or maybe just a blank card chaos card, and all of a sudden we're, we're in the clear. Shot speed must have gotten just shit on as a result of that experimental treatment pickup. But I do think our sights are maybe larger. We have 15 cents. Was that enough to buy? Well, it is enough to buy something, obviously, but is there anything in there worth buying? Or do I have to use rerolls? Was there even a reroll machine? All valid questions for a valid time. Um, there is no reroll machine. So I think we just stack HP. Uh, and probably this. Now there is a second secret room. Car battery might have just won us the game. Matchstick we might as well take. Bombs could be useful, but um, yeah, car battery, being able to get two spirit hearts every time we use this, uh, every time we use the book instead of just one, uh, seems incredibly powerful. 
It's basically like a three-room charge, uh, Satanic Bible. Functionally, it's not, but, um, you know, effectively, you can sort of think of it like that. I think a three-spear, or a three-room charge for every heart would actually be better, so that you could use it more flexibly, but... This is still really, really good for us. Assuming that's actually how it's going to work. That's the way it should work in theory, I think, but... You know what they say about theories, you make a thee out of you, you and re. Doesn't really work, does it? Um, definitely should not have done that, but I did do it. I will take this, just to be safe. I will take this, just to be safe. I'll take this, just to be safe. Because we're not going to be um, using any keys on our next floor or anything like that. We're just, oh lord, worried about our survival. And as long as we live and win this run, I'll consider it a huge success. Oh man, this is like, you have no idea how not worth it these items are. I feel bad for you, man, because you're like, you're giving it all you got on this room, but it's just like, your boss is a dick. He outfitted you with horse shit. Um, down to the next floor. I'm so excited to use our car battery satanic bible. This is our last floor to generate uh, value from. And I gotta admit, D4 is pretty tempting. Sad Onion, also very tempting. Yeah, we still have cluster bombs, let's not forget about that. Uh, that was really good. Uh, hive Mind, not so tempting. Just because we got nothing to really use with it. Uh, D4, yeah, that definitely gave us... At least one and a half, but I'm going to assume it's two and I just was misreading it kind of. Kind of lucky on the marked there. Um, you know, I'm starting, to, I'm looking at this and I'm starting to think that it might be doable. Was there a reroll machine back there? Because if there is, oh my god, there's still ghosts left? It's like two waves ago now. Um, if there is a reroll machine... I don't care about donating money here. Let's be realistic, when we fight, uh, or when we try to grind to 999 cents, Blue Baby's probably not gonna be our character of choice for doing that. For what I'm assuming are relatively obvious reasons. Now the problem is we're not gonna be able to have um, charges join us during the uh, Ultra Greed fight. But at the same time, I'm not super concerned about that. All we can really do is, is the, the best we can, you know? get full health or close to it by the time we get into that uh, in that fight to begin with and then just gun it, you know, do as best as we can. Try not to get hit, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Whoa, okay, that's all right. Blackheart's gonna clear out a couple of enemies. I wish we didn't have to take damage to make that work, but life goes on. Um, so there is no reroll machine. Uh, I think out of all this, we want this and then possibly we'll take uh, two battery charges depending on how much we need. I think we'll get 10 cents. I mean, we already have like 9 available here, right? Yeah, so we will get 10 cents. So no matter what, we're gonna be at full HP unless there's an awesome deal with the devil. By definition, if there's an awesome deal with the devil, I'm gonna think that that's really sweet and I'm gonna be excited to, to take it. That's alright, I don't mind. Possibly I should, but I'm okay with it. This is the worst. I really wish we didn't have to do this one. But we do. That actually went pretty well. It's starting to go not so well. But we have killed one stain. Just dodge these. Marked will handle the rest. Good. That was bad, but the thought was there. And now we've got our deal with the devil. Where there's going to be two guppy items and somehow they're going to be free. I haven't really thought out the, the mechanism by which that will be accomplished, but... It would be nice. Our deal with the devil. Chocolate milk. I don't think this does anything for us right now because we have uh, no real ability to use it. Consciously, at least. Uh, is there any way we can get an extra penny? The answer is yes. Uh, and it's via this second secret room down here. But I don't know for sure. Oh, okay. It was, just, it was a waste, but that's all right. We got a decent amount of HP. I don't trust myself to dodge effectively, but we gotta try. Just keep yourselves 
Standing back. We got the quarter, so we actually we have an added incentive to win now because we've uh, we've picked up some some fairly excellent uh, coinage. We're just gonna try to keep marked like 100% right on top of Ultra Greed. Not super stoked about fighting spiders. Uh, I'm pretty stoked about that nickel being there, but he's obviously gonna eat that and get stronger. And he's gonna get some hearts. And you know what? I'm not gonna stop him. I find that he doesn't heal that much anymore, but the keys have gotta go. This has not been a great strategy. Um, we killed one key, despite it getting the majority of our effort. Um, wouldn't necessarily recommend this. At this point, I'm, I'm giving Marked uh, a lot of, what do the kids say these days? A lot of shade? Marked is catching a lot of shade from me. Some of this is my own fault, without a doubt. But uh, I'm a little disappointed in my seeming inability to to hit Ultra Greed consistently. Now, some of these shots are actually making it, to be fair. I'm very thrilled to have not been hit there. The keys are gonna come out. I think we should just accept it. We've taken a lot of damage and not quite done half his HP yet, so... Uh, dodging is definitely gonna be on the to-do list here. Just gotta figure the hell out where my marked uh, crosshair is. I think, honestly, that would go a long way. On the, on the marked spectrum of making it useful is just uh, making the crosshair a little bit more visible on the ground. We killed three of them just with Cube of Meat. Cube of Meat justifying its existence now more than ever. Where's the crosshair? There it is. Again, I'm, I remember my strategy. Try to keep the crosshair close. But it's uh, surprisingly difficult to make it work in practice. is keys bombs bombs are actually probably the ideal outcome for us oh I didn't realize they had mr. mega um, radius on them okay, there's our crosshair we're all right we've actually recouped a lot of uh, a lot of the damage that we took uh, a lot of the disproportionate damage we took relative to the damage he's taken so I'm feeling better bombs are good just make sure you stand far enough away ah that one still got me huh Okay, this is a tough one. Admittedly, I feel kind of bad, or I will feel kind of bad if this one ends up blowing up in our face, because um, this one seemed pretty winnable. There's no fucking way we're going to beat Ultra Greed without uh, the amount of HP we have right now, by the way. So, uh, you know, if you're thinking, well, at least you got nine lives. You are mistaken, my friend. Um, nine lives is a, is a curse, not a blessing here. That was okay. We killed two of them. Certainly not the best we could have hoped for, but not the worst either. Good, 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 good. So is this the way it works? Ultra Greed hits you and then eats your coin, and when he eats your coin, it gives him a play on his coin lottery or something, or does he just get the coin lottery play randomly? For these guys, it's so pivotal to know where your crosshair actually is. Some of the times you can kind of just eyeball it. Those guys are an exception to the rule. Stop moving so much, please. <laughs> I was actually facing like the exact wrong direction there. Now things become extremely dangerous. Yeah, we got one HP left. I was trying so hard to find a safe spot. What? The coin did full heart damage? Oh, we're eating. We've eaten shit. We're fucked. Um, we will now die eight times against Ultra Greed. That's so disappointing. I mean, I'm gonna try, but it, I just, you know, it's gonna be heartbreaking. We really should have won that one. That was really poor performance for me, and, uh, you know, I apologize for uh, kind of letting you down on that one and, and slowing down our greed progress. Normally, I'd be like, hey, well, we're not gonna give up yet, and I haven't given up yet, but looking at it from, like, a, a realistic, like, mathematical standpoint, we're basically fucked. We might be able to swing it. I mean, you can tell I'm still trying. I've learned a lot from our first uh, encounter, but there's not going to be a whole hell of a lot we can do. Um, what if I what if I just get super close to him and try to use uh, Cube of Meat? Wouldn't recommend this. Oh, God. 
We have to play it out, unfortunately. This is the reason I didn't want to take nine lives, but... It's, it's really sad to think that maybe just a, a couple of uh, really stupid instances of damage, I could have avoided this entire fate and, and actually won and knocked it off the to-do list and not have to, play it as, not have to play as Blue Baby again. But, you know, you can't appreciate the sweet without the sour, man. You can't appreciate the sweet without the sour. Kate just, just screamed there. I think she was playing Fallout 4. Uh, but I did think that for a moment there was a home intruder and she was about to be murdered. That's okay. The only intruder in our home right now... That's not okay if she got murdered. No, now it's okay, though. Um, but uh, we have only one intruder. And that intruder is Ultra Greed. And we're doing okay right now. It's not an ideal way to handle this fight. Let's keep in mind, you know, if we ever want to do this as a lost, this is something we might have to do again. Uh, the the way around it is Nod Leaf, I suppose, but without um, without Nod Leaf, there's not too much that we can do except just not get hit. And I'm learning a lot about Cuba Meat on this uh, Greed fight as well. I'm learning that Cuba Meat is a really excellent way to handle um, the coins that are summoned from Ultra Greed. To be fair, the bombs, we don't want to get close to. But everything else is not so bad. Also, may I just say, I think we're playing really well now. Maybe this is going to be one of those things where, like, right now, this is bad for us. It's obviously bad that I'm going to probably lose here. And I'm going to feel bad about it. I'm going to you know, shed a few tears, maybe. Uh, it's not true, probably. But, uh, you know, you never know how the mood might strike me later in the day. Um... But maybe this is a great learning experience, because now I'm actually taking the time to be like, I literally cannot get hit against Ultra Greed, or we die. Um, what's our strategy then? And it turns out, our strategy... Oh god, we did destroy the one bomb. <laughs> our strategy is just stay away when he does the coins, because they do one heart of damage. And um, apart from that, just keep your shots coming in at all times. Stay away from the coins, I said. Um... And then, whenever the hearts or the keys spawn, we're, uh, we're getting in there with Cuba Meat. Oh, it was an actual coin that dropped on top of us. What are we supposed to do about that? What are we supposed to do about that one? Is that a secret room? We don't have any bombs anyway. Oh, that's, that's uh, horse hockey and a half right there. What's unfortunate is that I do think there's an actual chance for us to win. It's not unfortunate that there's a chance. It's unfortunate that it's it's gonna be so tight. Stay away from me, you son of a bitch. Bison's ass so hard. Okay, get... I think one thing that could have helped us out in that last one where we died is crosshair management. We can manage our crosshair a little better. That's okay. You know what? I think we're probably safe here. It's a little tight. Mostly did okay. Bombs? Stand in the open space. What's coming next? Bombs. Not as many open spaces, so we'll make our own open space. Good. Keys. Keys need to be crushed. Keys are crushed. What comes next? Keys. Keys need to be crushed. I'm out of sync. Oh my god! We're doing so well. You know, what you are witnessing here is actually a formative moment in the experience of Northern Lion playing the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We have now figured out the patterns for greed to the point that we did with Mom's Heart, basically. Not to say that Mom's Heart is, is even that easy anymore. Um, but in, in Vanilla Rebirth... Vanilla, uh, vanilla Vanilla is what I actually mean to say. It's also my rap name, but... Um, we got to the point where basically Mom's Heart never hit us. Uh, and I'm kind of feeling like we're in a similar boat right now with the patterns of Ultra Greed. Uh, we will still be hit, but we're at least sussing out these consistent patterns that are going to benefit us so much to know in the future. We're learning how much certain attacks do, um, we're learning how to dodge them, and we're learning, you know, what to prioritize when it comes to taking care of the map control here. Now, of course, all of this is for naught if we don't have cube of meat, probably. <laughs> but still... It's, it's the fact that we're actually able... Like, I'm, I'm pissed off now, because I'm like, shit, we're taking off like 80% of his HP with where we can only take one hit. That's pretty impressive, but it makes it 
substantially less impressive that we died when we had 9 HP. But we're doing some great skirmishes here and we're learning a lot. I don't think we're going to beat Ultra Greed. I do think there's more of a chance than I originally gave it because we're actually learning the patterns now. We almost got them all. Kind of the other thing that benefits us here, as weird as it may sound, is the, the set it and forget it nature of uh, Marked. But I do think that Marked has actually been a net negative for us, but if I could just get it, get it working right, I think it could be a net positive. To have your shots always be on target whenever the enemy's stationary. And he spends a lot of his time stationary, and I'm not talking about no, uh, you know, paper. Good, good. You clear the space. That's the most important thing with the bombs. Don't risk it. Don't put yourself too much in harm's way. These coins are the worst, man. The coins that are unthemed. You know, him losing the lottery is like the worst thing for us. Also, that attack can be a bit annoying. Keys. Keys are also bad. Mm, one key I can live with. Find our crosshair. Set yourself up. We're okay. We're okay. I mean, again, if we can consistently get through almost all, or at least half of Ultra Greed's HP without getting hit once, I think that's a huge accomplishment for us. That's, like, unfathomable given how I was playing against Ultra Preed, uh, Ultra Preed, <laughs> Ultra Greed even, like, you know, 15 minutes ago. I'm pretty sure that people aren't going to be super stoked to watch me, like, die over and over and over against Ultra Greed. But I'm learning a lot in this experience right here, and I hope you are as well. You're probably not. You're probably a little bit better than I am. I think I may just run myself into Ultra Greed to finish the job here, but, uh... I tried, goddammit. I tried. And I had a good time with it. And I think we learned quite a lot. Blue Baby against Ultra Greed? Not gonna be as impossible as I originally thought. So I will surrender at the altar of Ultra Greed and say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.